with 4G internet penetration in China having reached 58 percent by the end of 2015. Premier Li Keqiang issued a statement on Sunday outlining the country's plans to develop faster internet speeds. He added that China is particularly looking to cut internet fees for small and medium-sized enterprises. In response to Premier Li's statement, China's Ministry of Industry and Information Technology held a joint press conference with the management of China Unicom, China Mobile and China Telecom. Vice Minister Chen Zhaoxiong outlined the changes that were to be introduced. The three primary critical adjustments outlined are, one, a cut in tariffs, which includes both domestic and international roaming fees. It is hoped this will help small and medium-sized enterprises to become more technology and internet driven, as well as promoting information sharing and better communication among people and companies. It is said that this measure will have a positive effect on 22 million enterprises. Two, increasing domestic internet interconnection bandwidth. In other words, developing faster internet speeds and further promoting overall coverage for rural broadband access. Three, facilitating a safe and open internet space, promoting healthy competition, improving cybersecurity and regulation of internet-based activities. The Ministry of Industry and Information Technology has outlined plans to develop faster internet speeds. The Vice Minister added that China will look to cut internet fees for small and medium-sized enterprises in hopes of lowering their operational fees and to further nurture their growth in becoming more internet and technology-driven. In keeping with Premier Li Keqiang's remarks, China's big three telecommunications enterprises stated that their priorities this year were to widen the bandwidth of broadband internet, increase the speed of 4G internet, and to cut all long-distance roaming charges by October 1st this year. Li Yue, CEO of China Mobile, explained the effect of removing roaming charges on the company. With a decrease in roaming fees, the demand for such service changes. It can be largely affected by large quantities of small profit sales. Looking at last year's performance, long-distance roaming fees made up approximately 8 to 10 percent of overall revenue. Therefore, cutting roaming costs will have a considerable impact on our business. With roaming fees being cut overall, the key players in China's telecommunications sector stand to see significant drops in their profit margins. However, with China Mobile in particular being the world's largest mobile phone operator, with about 835 million subscribers, it seems like the loss in roaming fees will be offset through other services. Grace Xiao, CGTN.